back to another lesson in Vedic Astrology. Today we are going to speak about the good and bad planets for uh, Scorpio Ascendant people. If you were born in this Lagna, then in your horoscope you will see a special mark like this or maybe it is written as house number one. So this is the first house and it is from here we are going to do the entire horoscope. So this becomes the first house then 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 12. Okay, the number one functional malefic planet for this ascendant is Venus because Venus owns house number 7 and house number 12. Venus is actually the best of the natural benefic planets and whenever the best of the natural benefic planet like as in this case Venus becomes the lord of a Kendra which is 14710 then it loses its beneficence and just is ready to become a malefic in case Venus rules another bad house and in this case yes it is ruling the house number 12 because you know that Venus rules this house not only that Venus has its Molotrukona over here so once the Molotrukona falls in the 12th house it will predominantly do the uh, the negative role of the 12th house but since it's already a Maraka Stanadipadi, the death inflicting planet or what we call the daily tension or high stress planet so Venus surely becomes the number one bad planet now uh, let's move on to the second functional malefic for this Lagna which is Mercury that is because Mercury owns the 8th house and the 11th house uh, throughout this series you would have noticed that whenever the whenever we discuss the lordship of 3 6 and 11 we always say that it is all you know it is a functional malefic so here we find that mercury has mercury rules this house and its monothrakona is over here so the 11th house becomes very powerful and uh, one more reason is that he is also the lord of the 8th so that makes Mercury also a very powerful functional malefic planet for all the people born in this Lagna of Scorpio. The third functional malefic for this Lagna is Saturn. That is because Saturn rules house number 3 and house number 4. You can see that Saturn owns the third house and third is over here and uh, he is also the owner of the fourth house which is a good house. It is not sufficient to make Saturn a good planet for this Lagna mainly because the third lord always is a negative uh, planet for any Lagna and uh, not only that the lord of Lagna is Mars and uh, Saturn and Mars don't get along well that is also another reason now let's do the good ones number one good planet is Jupiter simple reason that Jupiter owns the fifth house he also owns the second house and uh, in fact the Molotrukon also falls here but the nature of Jupiter is always to do good things and uh, whenever he is the owner of one uh, Trikona uh, is enough Jupiter becomes a good planet so despite being the lord of the second he will give predominantly the good effects of the fifth house the, the next one is the moon is a functional benefic. The moon owns this house, the ninth house, and the ninth is the house of fortune, Bhagya. So, undoubtedly, uh, the moon is a good planet. And the other one is uh, the sun, because the sun owns the tenth house. That is because a natural malefic ceases to be a natural malefic when, uh, whenever he rules the Kendra stars like 1, 4, 7, 10. That is one reason. Another reason is that Mars and Sun, they get along well with each other. They all belong to one group. And uh, not only that, the Lord of the Tent is always tending to do good things. Now let's get on with the remaining one. Mars is a neutral. The reason for being neutral is that uh, Mars rules the first house and also the sixth house. As a ruler of the first house, Mars tends to lose its malefic nature. And as the lord of the sixth, Mars is uh, supposed to be bad. 
So, um, due to the fact that he rules one bad house and one good house, Mars has been declared as a neutral by Maharshi Parashara in Brihat Parashara Parashastra. So now let's sum it up. Jupiter, the moon and sun are good planets for uh, Vrishikalakna people and uh, with whomever uh, moon or the sun joins, even that planet will tend to do more good things because uh, these two planets are called uh, the Yoga Karakas. So by joining up with another Yoga causing planet, uh, the, the Sun and the Moon will uh, give more benefic uh, results. And uh, the most powerful malefic for this Lagna is uh, Venus, who is actually the best amongst planets for doing good things. But in this case, it becomes the Maraka Staradipati, the Lord of the 7th house and uh, also the Lord of the 12th house. Mars uh, is a neutral planet just simply because it rules one bad house, the sixth house, and uh, also has its Molotrikona there. And uh, Mars is the lord of a Kendra, so he just sheds his uh, malefic nature, uh, but does not uh, qualify to become a very good planet. So, whenever you find a situation like this, more of the nature of a planet is to be known from the specific horoscope that you are reading. And uh, it's not, this is not the uh, final uh, word, uh, simply because uh, even after you know who are the functional uh, benefic, uh, which is the functional good planets and the functional uh, bad planets, even then you got to do a lot more on astrology because uh, you need to find where these planets are before you come to a conclusion. So this is just uh, the starting point for you to know how to initially mark the planets as good and bad, but uh, there is a lot more to do before you come to a conclusion. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know of your views either through the comments or uh, you can send me an email. So let me say goodbye and thank you.